Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Saga. Today, I'm at the Armor Castle since I saved the girl's village. He promised me a reward, and I am here to collect. So hopefully, he'll just hand over the armor. That'd be great. Oh, look, you can change her pink now. I guess she's blushing or something. Um, your armor, of course. Oh, wow, that was enormously easy. Hey, awesome! And we get the mighty King's Armor! And then they just say the exact same thing over and over and over again. Now, this is kind of crappy, but in the Game Boy version, you could actually equip the King's Equipment, the King's Armor, Shield, and Sword. You can't do that in this version. It really, really sucks. Um, but it's not that big of a deal, because... Eh, you'll see. We'll just I'll just say that we'll be done with this world soon enough. So it's really not that big of a deal, to be quite honest with you. And I will be skipping more battles, but in the first world they don't take all that long. Um, so that's why I wasn't. So at this point, we've already gotten the armor. Now it's time to get um well first of all, it's time to go to the inn. Damn it. Um, but it's time to power up my human just a tad with some of those HP potions because the mutants are catching up on them, especially Apollo. Man, look at that. Uh, let's see. Let me go to the item shop here. Oh, all these people are in my way. The trees are in my way. Like, come on. Move your ass. God. This is one thing that I hate about earlier games. You had people in your way all the time time. It was so annoying. So what I want to do here is just purchase a whole bunch of HP 200s. That, oh, okay, my inventory is full. And then, yeah, as you can see, the King's Armors are in rare items. You can't equip that. And your inventory space is limited, to say the least. So the HP 200s, we're going to go ahead and use that. Raise it by 11. You could sit here and save scum if you want to, to get better growths, like more towards 20-ish, but... I really don't think it's necessary. It'll all come out in the wash. It's fine. Uh, sell that bronze shield there. And... Uh, what do I want? Let's grab an agility up. And uh, I do want to get another... Let's see, let's go ahead and use that on them. Whoa! Six points of agility! Holy crap! Oh, man! That's amazing! And I do want to buy another weapon for, um, my human there. The Mighty Bow. And because it uses agility as accuracy, now that he has six points in agility, that really shouldn't be an issue, but he does need another weapon. Whereas the mutants are using other things, uh, the human is stuck with his weapon there. One thing that we saw yesterday, it said that Apollo's armor decreased. Oh! When we initiate, um, I, I, I actually looked into that, and what that actually means is, and it's kind of stupid, I gotta say, but at the end of a battle, a mutant's abilities can either raise up or go down, and it just so happened that it actually lowered the, um, like, the uses of that armor ability. Because on the way up to the Castle of Armor, it said that her armor increased, so it went from one use back up to three uses. It was really weird. Finding this on the Game Boy was one of the hardest things I ever had to do as an eight-year-old child. On a monochromatic screen, the mountains and the forests all look exactly the same. Anyway, we're going down here to find the King of Sword. Hopefully he'll just give us his, his, uh, his sword. We won't have to do anything. I mean... We found his castle. It was so far away and everything. Maybe he'll just be pleased that we're good warriors. I hope so. Kind of doubt it, but I hope so. Let's see. Go ahead and go after these guys. Uh, let me show off the bow here. Let's see. I guess I can go ahead and use telekinesis. And yeah, let's save that horn for later. I'm not going to need that many charges of it, but I might as well save. Yeah. 13 damage with that bow. That's quite nice. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see. Um, let's see what the hammer does. I'm just 
curious. Or not. That works. Either way, my mutants are dealing tons more damage with their weapons because they're getting so many stat in uh, increases. Let's see. Oh, if you talk to these guards, they'll just fight you. Oh, here we have a new enemy, the Flyman. They are weak against ice, if you have access to ice or if you care. I don't have access to ice, and I don't care. So, yeah, just... Everything in the first world is pretty much under 40 HP. You can kill it all relatively quickly. Um, so I wouldn't worry about it all that much. Uh, save the telekinesis. There we go. And just kill this guy here, too. Perfect. How does a skeleton have meat? Anyway, let's go on up here. Yikes. Whoa! Come at me, bro! For boss time! Against King Sword himself! Ooh, I might need some more weapons for these people. Yeah, they're kind of getting low on whatever they have. Let's try telekinesis. See if, um... See how well that does. Whoa! Yeah, good thing I pumped some HP into Dave there. He needs it. Will it work? Will it work? Woohoo! It works! Nice! You'd be surprised what actually works on some of these bosses here. Like, it's pretty ridiculous. You can instant death him with stone, if you have access to, like, a stone gaze spell with your mutants, which you can have. Um, but I don't have it. Oh, whoa! I gained power! Power is one of the best abilities in the game! It will set your strength level to 99, and then you'll be able to just eviscerate anything in your path. Well, perfect. I got the King's Sword. And uh, don't forget we got that ability, the teleport ability. So let's go ahead and use that for the first floor of the tower. So yeah, we're back at base town. Go ahead and stay here. And now I've got the sword. I've got the armor. All that's left is the shield. Hopefully that king will hand it over to me. He looked like he was on death's doorstep anyway. Oh, what happened? Oh, no! What's going on here? He's dead. Oh, did you kill him? What the hell? Oh, screw you, asshole. Okay, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna save it. Well, no, I'm gonna save it. Yeah, let's just go ahead and... Well, mm, let's, let's use it. We'll, we'll use it. That's fine. Um, telekine- oh, actually, I think that they're immune to telekinesis, I'm pretty sure. And then just go after these guys here. Yeah, they only have 20 HP anyway. Yeah, did you see that? Her strength rises to 99! It's so good! Not that I could really capitalize on it, but it's there. Whoa! Huh, went through a secret passage! Yeah, no kidding. This secret passage stayed a wall in the Game Boy version, so if you didn't watch exactly where the steward ran off to, you'd be screwed and you would have no clue where to go. Money? I don't need no stinking money! Not like I have four humans! Yikes! For boss time! It's the minister himself! As if you can really even call this guy a boss. He is pathetic. And we one-shotted him with a rapier. Yeah. Got your money anyway! Hey, hey! And with that, we get the King's Shield! So now we have all three items. Perfect! Let's just leave him there to rot. And away we go. One thing that I do want to do at this point, just to capitalize on that power ability, is actually give her a strength-based weapon such as the hammer. Um, if you... Put your strength up to 99, and then you attack with a rapier anyway. It would base it off your agility, so it really wouldn't do all that much more damage. But the hammer, that's a strength-based weapon, that'll be very, very nice. Oh, it's still missing something. Hmm. Like all these uh, equipments here? Ooh, hey, hey, nice. Well, that was easy enough. And we got the crystal, so now we can go inside the tower. So let's get on out of here and just teleport back to base town. 
Yeah, if you've ever played the Game Boy version, you know how broken that is right there that you're actually able to skip that boss fight in its entirety by using teleport. But I don't want to do that. Let's head back to Hero Town. I'm back in Hero Town. And yeah, we can still encounter him just on the other side now. You can skip him in its entirety forever. You never actually have to fight Gendu if you don't want to, if you have access to teleport. It's really ridiculous. I don't know why they didn't fix this in this remake. Like, you would think that they would have put in something like, you know, oh, mysterious force blocks teleport, but no. They left that in there. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, we used power, then we're gonna use our hammer, and everybody else just use your hammer or your most powerful attacks. Whoa, 75 damage with that hammer now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about with 99 strength. Oh, it only dealt um, 75 because he was also defending with his shell. So, yeah. Oh, good, yeah. Just don't attack Ken. Whoa! 138 damage with the lowly hammer! So good! Get 900 Karo. Awesome! Wow, that was enormously easy. Okay. Anything else here? Oh, it's an impressive sight. It really is, if I do say so myself. Anyway, let's go the, to the inn. And I guess I could just teleport back to base town. Yeah, this teleport spell is coming in pretty handy. Who knew? And before I climb this tower, let me just look and see what I have going on here as far as equipment is concerned. Oh, you're gonna need something. The bow is fine. Eh, you might need something too. It's kind of crappy. Um, so what I'm going to do is buy a blizzard book Sure, we'll go ahead and stick that on Ken. Oh, maybe Apollo? Oh damn. Okay, so let's do it this way. Let's, um, disequipped. Actually, let's, let's keep the hammer for that power. It's kind of nice. Um, and let's see for you. We'll just take off that bronze helmet there. Um, yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and buy them both a spell book, a blizzard book. We'll give that to Ken, and we'll buy a thunder book for Apollo. Perfect. And then I also want to go ahead and purchase, um, let's see, we're good there, but I want to go ahead and buy some strength ups. No, not equipped. We'll buy three of those and use those on Dave. Let's see. Not half bad. Not half bad at all. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I, I could go ahead and give this rapier to him. That's... Might as well. Perfect. And now... Oh, yeah. So what you have to do to open up the door is actually use your crystal. Yeah, a lot of this stuff was really obtuse on what you had to do on the Game Boy. It's amazing I made it through. The seal has been broken! But what awaits us here in the tower? Find out next time on Let's Play Saga. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.